In this presentation, we will record a transaction related to grants receivable and deferred revenue in our not-for-profit practice problem within QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Pro. Here we are in our practice file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by selecting the view dropdown and the open windows list. We're now going to open the trial balance. We're going to do so by going to the reports dropdown, going to the accounting and taxes, and there's our trusty trial balance we're going to open up the trial balance we're going to change the dates up top those dates being 010120 to 12:3120, january through december 2020 i'm going to increase the size of the fonts so it's a little bit more easy to see on my screen by going to customize reports this is optional for you but if you want it a little bit larger you can do this as well fonts and numbers we're going to then go to the change the font size i'm going to make mine number 11 and then I'm going to say, OK, yes, and then OK. There we have it. Let's now take a look at our Excel sheet to get an idea and a plan what we're going to do within Excel. So what we have here is we've got the grants receivable. There's going to be a receivable grants for the 5,250. In other words, we're going to call these corporate grants. And we're going to, and so we're going to say that there's corporate grants are offering us, uh, are going to give us money, haven't got it yet. And the amount that we're going to earn, we're going to say that there's going to be amount that's going to be earned in the current period of the 5,260 is going to be the 3,240. The amount that's going to be earned in the future and therefore not earned in the current period is going to be that 2,020 and therefore that adds up to the 5,260. In other words, our objective here is to say, okay, we've got a grant coming to us. We have, in essence, a promise. They're basically saying we've got a grant. We want to put a receivable on the books for the entire 5,260 so that we make sure that we follow up on that grant. However, we haven't earned all of that, all of that revenue yet. And therefore, we're going to put only the 3,240 into the amount uh, that, that had been earned. We're going to say in this, in whatever the requirements are for that, we're going to say that is the amount that's earned, 3,240, the amount that has not yet been earned. We're not going to put on as revenue, but rather track it as deferred. Uh, and that'll be a liability type of account. So that's going to look something like this. We're going to say the receivables going up for the entire amount debit. We're going to credit the, the uh, revenue account related to contributions without restrictions because we haven't got it yet and we might put it into another account a revenue account called grants or something like that and we could get more specific in the type of grants calling them you know corporate grants versus uh government grants or something like that and we may do that in quickbooks but the main point is here it's going to be without uh, donor restrictions we're not going to say that there's uh, restrictions on the grant except for the fact that we haven't incurred or earned this part of it so rather than breaking that out as being uh, unrestricted on the income statement we're going to put it into a liability account that it's basically unearned revenue this is in this in essence is is a concept of unearned revenue that you'd see in a for-profit accounting in other words normally in unearned revenue you get paid before or it, it would result when you get paid before you actually do the work in this case we've got a promise to pay us before we've actually basically kind of done the work in order to to earn it and therefore recording the liability kind of like unearned revenue called here deferred revenue at year end so then we're going to credit the income and credit the liability account so what it will look like then if we were to see what the accounts will do over here we're going to say that the receivable up top here's going to be the grants receivable is going to be increasing it will be increasing by the 5260 so that's going to go up we want to make that go up by the full amount so that we can then track it then we're going to say that the contributions without donor restrictions will be up top. We've got the contributions without restrictions. That's going to be for the amount that we have earned at this time period, which is going to be the 3240 And then the amount that is deferred, we're going to say is going to be up top in deferred. So we're going to go back up top and say deferred equals the amount that we have not yet earned. And so there we have that. And that increases the, the liability. Now, it's a liability because, again, we haven't yet earned it. Once we have earned it, we'll reduce the deferred income and record it as, as earned in a similar fashion as we would do for unearned revenue. So how would we do this on QuickBooks? So if we go then to QuickBooks, we're going to go to the home page. We're going to create another sales receipt. So we're going to be in, actually, sorry, not a sales receipt. Why? Because we're not getting the cash yet. It's going to go into the receivable. So therefore, we're going to be going to the invoice. The invoice is the account that will increase the receivable. That's the form that will increase the account of receivable. 
So we'll go into the invoice and we're gonna pick our customer and I'm gonna say this is corporate. So corporate one, we'll say it's a corporate grant this time. And I'm gonna say quick add. Again, you'd probably want the full name of you know whatever's given the grant and the contact information. We're just gonna give the example problem focusing in on the transactions here. Then we're gonna put it to the class. The class we're gonna choose is gonna be the fundraising because it's not restricted. It's unrestricted as just make sure it was unrestricted, correct? Yeah, without restrictions. So that is the one we want. We're then gonna be choosing the item. Now we have an item here for the, for the grants unrestricted. And we could, if we choose this item, note we set up one account. Like I'm gonna check it out. If we go to the lists up top and we go to the chart of accounts, we have the income accounts here of grants. Now we could set this up and, and change, change this to be grants from the government, grants from the corporations, and you may want to do that. And, and if you wanted to break that out, I can change this account name, right click on it, edit it. And then I could say that this is gonna be grants or from the government, government. And that could give us a little bit more detail and say save and close. So that'll be a separate name. And then if I want to indicate that on the item, I'm going to close this back out and go to the lists up top, go to the item list. Then we can say that we have, I'm going to increase the item list here. And we have the uh, grants that are unrestricted. And we can say these are government grants unrestricted. So I can edit this item and say that we want to say these are government grants, let's say, government grants uh, unrestricted. And that, and then we could set up another item for corporate grants, right? So that could government grants, close that back out. Now we'll set this one up a new item rather than using the government grant, we'll use corp uh, grant. So we'll use a corporate grant and we'll set that up. I'm gonna say tab, Yes, and we're gonna say it's a service item. We're gonna say it's a corporate grant and we could put the whole thing there, but I'll keep it at corporate grant. We want the account, let's put the whole thing here. Corporate grant. And so I'm gonna say corporate grant and we probably actually wanna put corporate grant unrestricted. Let's do that. Corporate grant unrestricted. And we're gonna set up the account for that as well. I'm gonna copy that, set up an account for the corporate grant unrestricted tab, set up the account. We're gonna make it another income account. I'm gonna say save and close, keep the rate as is and okay. And then I'm gonna pick up the amount. So the a grant amount is going to be for the 3240, 3240. So we'll put that here. We're gonna say 3240. And the class is going to be uh, the fundraising, fundraising as the class. Okay, so then we're gonna have to have another one because this one needs to be pointing to the deferred revenue. So I'm gonna set up an item for the deferred revenue and let's just call it, so I'm bouncing back and forth a lot. Let's just call it the deferred revenue. So I'll copy that here, might make it a little bit faster. And then I'll put that here, deferred revenue item setting that up this is going to be a service item as well deferred revenue we're going to put in place and it's not going to go to an income account i'm going to make a deferred revenue it's going to go to a liability account so i'm going to make another account deferred revenue because we don't have one yet do we oh we do have deferred revenue right here now that's a liability account let's see it one more time other current liability that's the one we want so i'm going to say okay and that amount is going to be for the deferred revenue of 2020. So we want to make that 2020. So there we have that. The total then at the 5,260. What's this going to do then? Because it's an invoice, means it's going to increase accounts receivable by the 5,260. Then this corporate grant item is going to drive up income by the 3,240. This deferred revenue is going to drive up a liability by the 2020. Let's check it out. We're going to say save and close. Yes. Go to our trustee trial balance in the open windows. Within the trustee trial balance, we'll see that the accounts receivable here has increased. Double clicking on it, 
we see an increase with that invoice to the accounts receivable, double clicking on it. There's our invoice. Closing that back out, closing this back out, back to the trustee trial balance. Then we want to see that the grants should be increasing. So we have the corporate grants, new account, 3,240, revenue increasing, double clicking it. There's our invoice. Closing it back out. The other side of this, or the last component of it, then go into the deferred revenue, liability account. Double clicking that, there's that item. Now it might be easier to see this on, a, on financial since we have a balance sheet and income statement component here. Let's go to the reports up top. Let's go to the company and financial. Let's go down to the balance sheet standard, our standard balance sheet report. Change the date up top to 12-31-20, the end of the year. We can customize the size of the report if we so choose in the fonts and numbers tab. Font size, I'm going to make it number 11. Okay, yes, okay. So on the liability side, remember that's going to be a liability down here. This is where the deferred revenue lines up uh, on the liabilities. And obviously the uh, revenue account is up top or the accounts receivable is up here. If we want to know who owes us that money, then we can go to the reports up top. We can go to the customers and receivables and we can say, I want to see the customer balance detail report or summary. And that'll give us the corporate grant here. So we know who to collect from. And that's the important part. They, they promised to pay us money. I want to know who pays us the money or who owes us the money. And so we can like call them a lot and see if we can get the money. So there's going to be that. Next, let's take a look at the profit and loss. Uh, the profit and loss by class. Profit and loss by class report. And we'll put the dates up top from 010120 to 123120. We're going to customize that report. Go to the fonts and numbers. Let's change the font and number. Make it number 11. Okay. Yes. And okay. So there we have that information. And we see that we have now the grants should be the corporate grant. Here we go. And it's right here in the fundraising. And so it's unrestricted. This portion of it unrestricted. If I then collapse these columns... We have the unrestricted versus the, the restricted items, which is basically what the main component we want to break out. Then we can get into more detail of it. And once again, as we get into the more detail, we'll really want to focus in on the expenses and breaking out those expenses uh, once we get into those shortly.